Hello and welcomes back everyone. At Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Fade here, my Imperial Agent, on the Smuggler's Moon of Nar Shaddaa. We are trying to locate and deal with the Eagle's terrorist network, and we believe they're after, well, not only the usual supplies they're claiming, but a serum known as Cyclone. But we're not, we're not sure who's making it and how it's connected to the terrorist cell. Watcher X is aiding us, but he wants us to take the sample we retrieved from the Corellian sector here over to the Duros sector where there may be some medical equipment which would give us a more accurate kind of analysis of how the cyclone was created. So, with that in mind, uh, I forgot to empty my inventory. Always a good start. Do you require medical attention? Um, Be well. Indeed. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. The Dura Sector. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Thank you. I'll certainly try. See, we're going past the promenade once again. I thought while we were over at the Republic SIS listening post, we would have got a codex entry on the SIS, but seemingly that was not to be. Did I just... Did I just mid-flight get hit by a snowball? Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. Bazaar here, little marketplace. And a codex entry on the Duros sector. The glitz and glamour of Narshadar hides an uglier side. One of the poorest sectors on Narshadar, the Duros sector hosts men and women who have been exploited and left behind. Refugees of war and casualties of the immense wealth hoarded by Narshadar's hut masters. The peoples of the Duros sector, the, mid, the majority Duros, but with a mixed minority of Evokai and other alien species, have watched Narshadar's wealth grow and seen none of it for themselves. Some have lived in the sector for generations, while others are recent migrants desperate for any work they can find. The residents unwet unrest has been stirred by charismatic leaders in the past, from Jedi Masters to would-be warlords. I see. Right, map. Okay, hey, we do have some form of abandoned lab that we were told by Watcher X that maybe refugees had taken up residence. Okay, that's our overall destination, but we'll see what else is going on. Hmm, we have a data pad here. The following is written in a standard but fairly complex Imperial Cipher. To all Imperial staff and allies, please note the outreach program in the Duros sector has been met with mixed success. Several leaders of rebel groups have been uncovered living among the refugees and have been eliminated, but much of the general populace is no longer tolerant 
of our activities here. In other words, our cover has been blown. All combat ready personnel are asked to identify themselves and check in upon arrival in the district. We will be able to use your assistance. And yes, there's another intelligence outpost here in the sector. You can smell the desperation on these guys. It's like a Duros pheromone. Okay. And we have the daily reset once again. What are we doing for that anyway? Oh, we're finished. Um, right. That should hopefully allow us to reset back over to tier one. Inventory. So we need to sell this. Uh, this is no good, I believe. We have some gifts, some dyes, and the elegant chest of loyalty. I guess we'll look at a bit later. So let's go find that intelligence outpost. Get ourselves checked in. See what the situation is. We have some people looking rather hostile. Somewhat armoured. Carrying weapons. Ourselves checked in. Level 52. It's going to be a long while until we get our next jump on the discipline tree, but ah, slowly but surely. Oh, we have two quests here. Despite a generous outreach program to the Dura sector's impoverished citizens, Armed anti-Empire militants have begun a campaign of terror against our people. Cowardly saboteurs have, saboteurs have captured astromech droids and armed the units with explosives. The droids are then programmed to detonate in the presence of our benevolent Imperial officials. This unwarranted aggression must not stand. The Emperor commands that these anti-Empire forces and their sabotage droids be eliminated immediately so that peace is restored to the Duras Sector. Very well. We'll look into the heroic mission at some point in the near future. Hello, Agent. Greetings. I heard of your success with the Shadow Syndicate. I was hoping you might put those talents to work for me. My name is Mardel Felf, Imperial Intelligence, and I am here to stop a revolution. I've been known to stop or start a few wars in my day. They call this place the Duros Sector, but it's not just Duros who live here. Alien refugees from across the galaxy have fled here, fled from us. Now a leader has emerged to unite the different species. They call him the Flame, and we have killed him twice. Each time he reappears. The locals claim he is immortal. Third time's the charm. Only the Emperor himself can claim true immortality. But I'm not asking you to kill the Flame. Yet. Our only undercover agent in his gang was recently discovered and murdered. The Flame insisted the corpse be publicly displayed in Ranamas Square to taunt us. If they're baiting you... They want something. Oh, there's no doubt it's a trap. But they have bait we're hard-pressed to resist. Everything our agent found, all his notes, are pinned to the corpse in plain view. 
but every team I've sent to retrieve the records has come back in pieces. You may be the only one who could walk into this trap and survive. This corpse has been there for days, right? What's so urgent now? I should know better than to try to get anything by you. Admiral Jafandange arrives today to discuss this problem with the huts. My job is on the line. Once you have the records, use this on the body to burn it. We can't have them use one of our own as a rallying point. <laughs> your job and your life is on the line. That's what you were trying to say. So... Our former agent's body is in the middle of the plaza here. Well, we'll go deal with these anti-empire dissidents. Well, I suppose refugees is maybe the better word. And deal with the sabotage droids on the way. Yeah, we, ooh, we have a staged bonus mission. Stage one is to defeat 25 of, yeah, the militants here. Astromech droids already fully set up and ready to detonate. Clearing out this chamber as much as we can. There's a purpose for clearing out this room. So that's the stage one bonus mission complete. Stage two is to locate and destroy bomb parts that are being used to create the sabotage droids. And the reason I stayed around in this room is there's quite a few bomb parts located here. This is the way to the lab. 
We'll come back here later. For now, let's push on to the plaza and find that dead agent and the information that was left on his corpse. Okay, that was eight of those astromech droids dealt with. Seems we have an, our follow-up objective to locate the anti-empire resistance militants in their base of operations and deal with their leader. Not to be confused with this leader who's rallying the people of the Duros sector itself. Yeah, this renegade leader and the flame are two separate people. That's the stage two bonus mission complete. Final stage is to locate the master detonator switch. To likely be held by an important member of this militant group. Bunch of losers. Come on, but I can shoot more of them than you. There's the agent's body. And that's the data pad. Flame had someone watching. Did we get the data? Yes, we did. So we need to, to bring that report back over to the intelligence post. Before we do that, to head along this way and find the militant headquarters. have some friendly refugees here. Somewhat uncommon. So, <clears throat> this is where we believe, yeah, the militants are working out of We need to deal with all of the rebels here. Again, leaving no survivors. Is the renegade leader himself. Mm. 
Yeah, you aren't going anywhere. And I might move leg shot. Um, yeah, I might swap that with a fragmentation grenade. Oh, our experience booster came to an end. This will pop another one. have an individual here the anti-empire mastermind the mastermind here has the detonator switch we were asked to retrieve Auto completed. in that the sabotage droids have been dealt with. And let's hand over that data disk. Your trap's been sprung. Here are the notes. Let me see. Blasted rebels. The flame is planning an attack on Admiral Jafand Ange. He can't know about this. I was supposed to... What exactly would you prefer? I didn't know. Admiral Jafand? Sir, I apologize. This is... I know who you are. You have made quite a reputation for yourself in the right circles. Are you more inclined than Agent Maddle to tell me what threat has just been posed? Does this come from the flame? Any idea why you'd have it in for you personally? The flame must know I've been communicating with the hut. I'm here to tell them the Empire will withdraw billions of credits of business from Nar Shaddaa unless they shut down this rebellion. Aren't the huts neutral? They're welcome to claim neutrality, as long as they don't interfere with our plans. I invite you to come with me when I meet with the huts. Your activities have made an impression on the cartel. You do the talking, I'll keep an eye on what's happening behind the scenes. I see you've done this before. If you're interested, I suggest you go first to flush out and destroy any of these rebels who might lie in wait. I leave for my meeting shortly. I hope to see you there. Knowing Admiral Jafand, I'd suggest you go now. He'll expect the route to his meeting to be cleared before he leaves. I'm sure he would. Very well. 
So, seems this flame is looking to target the Amaral personally. But, we'll go to this meeting with the Hut Cartel to make sure that the Huts agree to, um, keep aiding the Empire. And, as I say, we do have a heroic mission here. This is another bounty listing. Several Jedi Knights have invaded this sector and are lending support to the anti-Empire rioters. Loyal servants of the Empire Emperor are encouraged to confront these extremists and their meddling Republic allies. Eliminate them with extreme prejudice. A reward will be delivered upon verification that the Jedi at key coordinates have all been neutralized. So we're getting some of the fractured armor set. We need to deal with some rebel Jedi Knights. And destroy some of the supplies they're handing over to the anti-Empire rioters. We haven't fought too many Jedi so far. I guess that's about to change. I suppose we'll, uh... Meet up with the Hood Cartel first. And then we'll go deal with the rioters. First things first, we need to clear a path for the Admiral to his meeting. Rise and shine. these beacons to let him know that the route is secure to a point. Third and final beacon. Okay. Onwards to the meeting point. Oh. That's not a good sign. Seems the Admiral beat us here. This is not your battle. It took no subtle spying for your empire to destroy the peace of my world. It is the Admiral who led that attack. It is the Admiral who will die for it. So, you're the one who thinks he can defeat the Empire. I do not know if I can, only that I must. I am Gendai. My people had done nothing to your empire when they set upon us. They tore our world apart, slaughtered our children, or sold them as slaves. In fact, every species here has suffered an unprovoked attack by your empire. He's a terrorist. He raised an army against the empire. Destroy him. No man may strike against the empire and live. You've already learned that I do not die easily. You forget. 
I've been on your world. I know the secret of your people. And I have no hearts or brains to fail. The only way to destroy them is to shred the bodies and scatter them. But we proved a billion times over that they're not immortal, right, Gendai? How many have you crawled away? Two? Ten? Kill him! Kill them all! All right, make me look good. Sure, he's dead. When I asked you to accompany me, I didn't know I would end up owing you my life. I'll call Agent Maddle and tell her what happened. I suggest you make the full report. My men and I will stay here to ensure the Gendai's body is destroyed. Without him, the aliens' rebellion should fall quickly. I'm certain Agent Maddle will be able to mop up any resistors. Thank you for your service. Not a problem. Yeah, so the Admiral's going to make sure that the body is properly disposed of. And of course, let the Hood Cartel know about what's happened uh, during this meeting. We're going to head over to this elevator here. The Rebel Refugee Zone. Right. Map. That's not the map. This is the map. Right. Anyone patrolling, first of all? Not that I can see, but that's not a no. Oh, there is a patroller. Right. Jedi Rebel Leaders, Rebel Supplies. See, oh, there's a Jedi in the distance there. See, so there's another Jedi up there as well. And here are the supplies. Right, okay. Kaleo, we're fighting Jedi. Prepare yourself for what that means. Lay down lots and lots of suppressive fire while Kaleo does her thing. First things first, let's poison the Jedi. Put a few holes in his cloak. Leo acting as a distraction gives us a great opportunity to line up shots. We do have a bonus to defeat 25 of the rebel forces. Got someone behind me. shooting me in the back. Thankfully my armor was able to uh, protect me. Jedi working here.
All right, make me look good. Get some poison going. of rebels on the lower level. Very few supplies as well. I can hear... Oh, it's Datacron. Hmm. Gonna keep my eyes out for more supplies. Nothing else, we can try and get ourselves over to the lower level. That's a bonus mission complete. Nice. Certainly weakened the rebel forces here. We have another task now to shut down a communications terminal. The nearest one of those, I believe, is this way. out for yeah any saboteurs trying to sneak up behind us rise and shine Heal ourselves up a little. Any goodies worth keeping? Mm, not really. Here's the communications console.
And that was the Jedi Commander. Perfect. I'll take those rewards, thank you very much. And we may as well quick travel back over to the Intelligence Outpost. Uh, let's have a look, see what's in this lockbox. And a new relic and a new earpiece. Ah, uh, this is a power relic. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, perfect, actually. That's what I want. I just received word from Admiral Jafand. He says thanks to you, the flame is dead and the rebellion is in chaos. He was just trying to avenge his people. If we mourned every conquered planet, hmm. we would never have become an empire. If you would take on another task for us. That's not what I was intending to mean. I just received word from Admiral Jafand. He says thanks to you, the flame is dead and the rebellion is in chaos. I assume I should have the Rancor's share of any reward money. Of course. It's being credited to your account right now. If you would take on another task for us, I have a message from General Colvin of the Imperial Reclamation Service. He believes you might be key to recovering the secret the Empire has sought for decades. Thank you for all you've done. A secret that the, that the Empire's been trying to gain for decades now. That's piqued my interest, most certainly. General Colvin is over in the industrial sector. For now, we have one more task here to complete. And that is to get into the lab to try and analyze the cyclone serum. Mutatech Labs. Now, is there actually anyone present? Yes. More of these uh, anti empire renegades. Rise and shine. As long as they haven't destroyed the equipment I require. That's not a good sign. It could have been taking apart the equipment. Scavenging the parts for things that they require. Yeah, these culto tanks looking worse for wear. Let's deal with everyone here. We don't want them to know what we're up to.
right, let's see. Is the bioscanner still operational? Was concerned for a moment that it might actually explode. And we're the ones being contacted again. Hello again, Cypher. I'm seeing everything the Bioscan sees. Genetic bonding agents, molecular webs, pure. Perfect. Take Cyclone and it becomes you. I'm going deeper now, Cypher. Looking for a signature to tell us who the artist is. Curious? I'll play along. What have you found? I have a corporate match. Cyclone's coding process is registered to Synchet Industries. Synchet used to manufacture droids, food supplements, medical supplies. But Synchet declared bankruptcy five years ago. The company is gone. Someone else must be using their technology. Synchet, a dead company, is connected to Cyclone. Cyclone is connected to the Terror Cell. We need more. I'm finding one former Synchet executive currently on Nar Shaddaa. He left the company just before it dissolved. Question him about Synchet. We need to know what happened to their resources, whether they had terrorist connections. Shouldn't be hard to interrogate a rich businessman. Your executive is named Jordal Tlan. Rich, eccentric, reclusive. Stays in his private casino lounge. Only associates with droids. No visitors allowed, no weapons allowed. He'll need a reason to talk to you, to be desperate to talk to you. Is there a way to blackmail him? I think so. Use the resources you have. See those medical crates? Combine their chemicals correctly and you'll have an undetectable poison. Clan's serving droids won't notice if you poison his drink. When he sweats and chokes, offer the antidote in return for cooperation. That's not a bad idea. I'm sending the formulas for poison and antidote. The important thing is to get to Clan, get him talking about the terrorists, Cyclone, and the dissolution of Sinchet. I wonder. <clears throat> I was just thinking about this um, in the last part, actually, and how Watcher X communicated with us. And I just thought about it again there, and how he's able to accurately know what we're up to. We hadn't even uploaded the data to him, and yet he was already analyzing the bioscanner's results. I wonder if Phaedron has some implants. Like, maybe... Imperial Intelligence have added some minor augmentations to their agents to make them more effective in the field. It's not as if we are a cyborg, but maybe we do have some microscopic implants that um, he is hijacked into, making him see what we see. Or maybe I'm just thinking about it too hard. <laughs> Which is certainly possible. So. He has also sent us... The formula to make a undetectable poison. And of course it's antidote. So, let's put this together, shall we? So, let's see now. You are... It is not advisable to use this poison on yourself. Can we do it? Can we actually... Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can. 
You can poison yourself. You have foolishly injected yourself with a poison intended for Jordal Tlan. Use the antidote to cure yourself of this ailment. Uh huh. Well, if nothing else, we could have always claimed that we were testing its effectiveness. Even though we probably would have used it on Kaleo. And then she probably would have taken my eyes out. So, yeah, probably not the best idea. Right, let's get ourselves over to the start of the Dura sector. We'll just quick travel there. There is a bit of mail for us to check out. Probably from our deeds over in the Corellian sector. Uh, yes. Your assistance in crushing the exchange's campaign against the Empire has been communicated to the diplomatic service leadership. We are currently reorganizing Narshadar's Shadow Syndicate into a more useful configuration for our future interests. So we've been sent some credits for our excellent work. Very well. Should we go see Jordal Tlan now, I wonder? Yeah, why not? Why not? Welcome. Please select an available travel route. So, we are heading over to the Star Cluster Casino. Have a safe and pleasant stay. There are two floating casinos. I suppose one is dedicated to Imperial personnel, one to, to Republic personnel, to try and keep both factions somewhat separate. One, of course, is the Star Cluster. One is Club Vertica, I believe. And there's one, and there is the other. There are sometimes events that occur on the various casinos, including the floating platforms here that the Hutch use as barges to enjoy their time floating around Nar Shaddaa. What is the following event actually? After the swoop bikes. The Dread War. Oh yes, the Dread War. I have never actually looked at that uh, particular series of events. I probably should at some point. Hmm. So here we are at the Star Cluster Casino. So pull out the map once again. So we're heading on to the main floor. It looks like Jordal has his own private room. I wonder how much he pays the huts for that. Ear off once. Security bootleg the footage. Not a big fan of casinos. No weapons allowed, you say, and we've just strolled in here, armed to the teeth. Hmm. Ma'am, 
Sylvester Talon requested my repairs be completed in time for tomorrow's swoop race broadcast. You are supposed to comply. I'm not a mechanic. I can't keep repairing you things when you malfunction. Then I shall inform Master Tuan of your inability to perform your duties. That's not necessary. I... Why don't you... Clear your memory of the last five minutes. Hey, you! I, this is Master Tuan's lounge. Is there something I can help you with? You've got your hands full with that protocol unit. It's nothing big. Master Tuan just likes everything to be perfect. The JTO2 is a Geonosian antique. JTO3's blasters need recalibration. The serving droid spills drinks. The droids are why I'm here. Do you mind? Mm, what do you want? Master Tuan didn't say anyone was coming. This is hot cartel business. Droids need to be checked for security. What? I didn't think you were... Ugh, sorry. I don't know what you expect to find in the serving droid, but yes, go ahead. Master Tlon has nothing to hide. Perfect. You really shouldn't stay here much longer. Please stand aside. This unit is not allowed to interact with outsiders. Where is... Oh, I was looking for the one that was armed with a blaster. Appears to be an advanced model serving droid. Sorry, Master Tlon must have called the droid. I hope that's not a problem. I was just finishing up. Great. Hope it worked out. Natula! Natula! I can't breathe! I need my medical droids! I need them now! Master, you have two medical droids already. You be a girl, I know when there's something wrong with me. I can't breathe! My tongue is swelling. There was something in my drink. Let me in, I'm a doctor. Who the blazes are you? I'm sorry, Master. He came to look at the droids. You pathetic creature, I told you that I have enemies and this is proof. This man is trying to kill me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You've got my undivided attention, Blast. You know what you want. <laughs> I need to know about Sinchet's link to terrorism. It's not... Uh, it wasn't like that. Back when I was with Sinchet, the company was failing. The war bankrupted us, so we had to sell everything. One of our subsidiaries developed medical technologies, Coltor tanks, Rancor stems, Cyclone, that sort of thing. But the group that bought it wasn't interested in profit. What were they interested in? They used fake names, paid for everything in, in cash. They only cared about the technology, not the business. Yes, I knew it was strange, and no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Get in there and help him! Or do you... Just plan to let him die. I'll bring him the antidote. Open the door. <laughs> so trying to pretend we were a doctor in front of the woman we'd already claimed to be a mechanic. Hmm. Well. Yeah. A mechanic working for the Hood Cartel, anyway. <coughs> I can breathe. I can breathe again. Thank you. Alert! Life signs stabilized. Warning. Any stress or exertion is inadvisable. No more, all right? No more. I'll, I'll tell you everything if you'll just... just go. Finish your story, Plan. Like I told you, Sinchat sold its medical division, Vervgen, to a group of men who kept their identity secret. They were especially interested in Vervgen's genetic modification serums. They might still be running the company. I, I don't know for sure. You haven't been in contact with them? No. Haven't been and wouldn't want to. I doubt the other Sinchat owners are any different. 
Vergen used to be headquartered in the upper levels. I don't know if you care, but the building's not even there anymore. But whatever Vergen and its owners are doing, I'm not involved. Stay out of trouble, or I'll be back. You ever come here again, I'll be ready. Get out of here, leave me in peace. Vergen. Another link. Let's find a private corner. Hello, Cypher. Always pleasant to speak. You know, I managed to slice into the Star Cluster's holocams. I got to see how you handle field work. Your questioning of Jordal Clan was adeptly handled. You should try torturing people more often. Let's talk about the mission, please. Of course. That's why I'm here. So, now we know about Vervgen. A Sinchet Industries medical subsidiary purchased by a shadowy group of buyers. Those buyers were presumably members of the Terracell. The company was acquired to produce Cyclone and other technologies. I reached the same conclusion. I've located the Vergen offices, but I'm unable to obtain personnel records. Their data is very well secured. I need you to set up surveillance. Slice into public terminals around the building perimeter. And I can use Holonet resources to see and hear inside. Say we're successful. Then what? We analyze the situation. Determine our best approach. Vervgen is located in the upper level industrial sites. The sector is overrun by corporate security. Some may carry Cyclone as a last resort. When you're done, come to Shadow Town. We'll meet in person. Watch your ex out. Okay. So we need to slice these various terminals that allow us to gain access to Vervgen security systems. Find out what is going on inside of the building itself. Okay. So we're likely heading over. There we are. So we are likely now heading over to the upper industrial sector. Where we need to go meet General Colvin of the Imperial Reclamation Service. And of course, tap into those public terminals to allow Watcher X access to Vergen's headquarters. I feel it interesting again to point out that Watcher X has managed to tap into more hollow cams here on Narshadar with his such limited access from Shadowtown itself. He is a very uh, talented agent, despite being retired. <laughs> Either way, we'll take a break here. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.